Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Last one before we, before we leave NBA. Uh, D. Will, former Brooklyn Net, former uh, member of the Utah Jazz. He is throwing his hat into the boxing ring. Um, he will be fighting on the undercard of the, uh, the, the Jake Paul and Paul Fury fight next month. Um, I like D. Will, so I'm just hoping and praying that we don't see Nate Robinson 2.0. That's all I'm going to say. I, I like both these guys. Um, I'll just say this. Darren Williams is a big guy. But Frank Gore might be one of the toughest guys we've seen in any sport over the last 25 years. Yeah. So unless D Will got a, a fighting background that we're not familiar with, it's gonna be probably speed gotta, versus power though, probably. Huh? So probably speed versus power. I, I I wouldn't say that Frank Gore ain't got speed either. I don't I don't know what them hands look like. I just know that Frank Gore is a tough dude, man. So yeah. it, it's, at least, it's, at least it's they, tough. they both have similar experience levels. Then you know. Nate Robinson and and, uh, and Jake Paul when they fought. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of Jake, Jake got a fight coming up. He does. He's boxing. Against Tommy Fury. Yes. Tyson's the, younger brother. The first actual pro boxer that he's going to be fighting. Um, I think this is probably going to be Jake Paul's last fight, unless he just out here check chasing again. But... This is this is what we've spoken about, you know, just because of the way Jake Paul speaks, you know, um, you got to actually fight some real boxers if you want to consider yourself, you know, someone that's really good in the sport of boxing. He's finally taking on the task. I will say this. Um, I give him a, I give him credit because I didn't think after the Tyron Woodley fight, you know, that he was going to be in such a hurry to step back in the ring just because in the Tyron Woodley fight, that was the first time where he was in a fight. You know what I mean? The other fights, he, he wasn't, those wasn't fights. Those was, I'm clearly better than you um, because I'm younger or I'm bigger or you weren't training or you were just so over the hill and past your prom that it didn't really matter. Now you about to be in a fight fight. So I want to see, I, I, I am so looking forward to this one. I'm not going to pay for the pay-per-view, but I'm looking forward to seeing that fight. No, no. You know, we got some back channels that we're able to find the, the, yeah. the fights. Um, <laughs> I, I give him a lot of credit from this standpoint. I, I've said you got to fight a boxer. Tommy Fury is a boxer. Um, Tommy Fury doesn't have a lot of experience. I think he only has about eight career pro fights. He's still on the a, on a up and up. However, mm. you know, he's been training in that camp with his brother. So he, he trains like a, a pro style fighter, obviously. And, I think this is going to be a good test for both of them because Tommy Fury, I don't think has ever been more than four or five rounds, um, whether it be because he knocked the guy out or because the fight was short in general. Yeah. We know Jake hasn't been many rounds. I mean, his fight against uh, Teron Woodley was the longest fight he had, had ever been in. Mm -hmm. We're going to learn a lot about the kid. And to your point, though, he's already thrown it out there that after this fight, he's probably going to take a little bit of a break to focus on some of his other business. So I don't know if he's just setting the stage for what could be coming or if he already, if he always felt that way and said, look, there's an opportunity for me to show everybody how good I am as a boxer. And then I'll step away for a little bit and, and kind of figure out what the next move is. Well, he probably started feeling that way after the Tyron Woodley fight, just because, again, he was actually in a fight. Like the well, other fights, he, when, he wasn't in a fight. When you get punched in the rope, when you get punched into the rope, sometimes you you realize, like, I don't know if I want to do this, you exactly. know, because as, as the great. Uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler once said, it's tough to train to fight when you're waking up in silk sheets. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the mindset is a little different when a bank account got, got eight figures in there and you, you got silk sheets on the bed. And it's like, ah, do I want to train? Do I really want to be taking punches to the face? Exactly. So maybe he's reevaluating things. Well, we had a real boxing fight uh, that went down this past weekend with, with a guy that Jake Paul, for whatever reason, in his mental state of mind, Thought he was going to call out and, and he wanted to fight him somewhere down the road. Uh, but a uh, big shout out to uh, Canelo Alvarez. He is now the undisputed uh, champion of the world. He beat uh, Caleb Plant with the what was it, 11th round uh, knockout. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm 11th, not round, 11th round knockout. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, you, you've said it, Eric, plenty of times. Um, you know, I agree with you every time you say it. Canelo Alvarez is the best fighter in the sport of boxing uh, right now. Um, no debating. It's, it's Canelo Alvarez, and you got to give him his respect. Um, you know, outside of, of the of, of the Mayweather fight, and Mayweather makes everybody look, look you know, look crazy. <laughs> but outside of that fight, you know, he's dominated everybody that's been put in front of him. He had a good good battle with Triple G, but ultimately he still won those fights. But he is the guy in the sport of boxing right now. And everybody got to put respect on Canelo Alvarez's name if you have not already. Absolutely, man. I think um, what Canelo has accomplished is, is remarkable. He is the best fighter the sport has seen since Floyd Mayweather stepped away. Uh, this is the Canelo era for him to go just his resume the last two years. Like when he fought Floyd, he was already a very good fighter. Yes. When, you know, when he grew from the Floyd fight, we saw how, how good he was. And like you said, the triple G fight. But if you look at just what he's done over the last two years, going up to light heavyweight and beating a guy like Sergey Kovalev, the crusher, who was yes. one of the best, who was the second best light heavyweight after Andre Ward, mm -hmm. he knocked him out. Think about that for a second. A guy who started off as a natural welterweight moved up all the way up to light heavyweight, knocks that guy out, and yeah. then said, I'm going to be a middleweight, and I'm going to be a middleweight champion. And then he beats Golovkin the two times. And then says, I'm going to be the super middleweight champion. And then within one year, beat all of the champions at super middleweight. Caleb Smith, um, Billy Joe Saunders, Caleb Plant. All in impressive fashion. I yeah. mean, he... He he broke Billy Joe Saunders' face. Yeah, <laughs> like let's call it what he broke his face. He definitely broke his face. That was <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like he 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 told Caleb Plant, "I'm going to break your jaw," and then Caleb Plant said, "You you got to prove it to me." So then he knocked you out in the eleventh round. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To the point where after the fight, you want to hug and like try to get Canelo's respect. And and granted, Canelo was a gentleman about it, but deep down, Canelo wanted to say, "Get the out my face." Of you course. know what I'm saying? Sometimes but, you got to be politically correct. Canelo is, is the best fighter in the sport. I applaud the man for everything he's doing for the sport. For the casual boxing fans, some, some, I, I see people say, oh, when is Canelo going to fight somebody? I mean, he's only fought the three champions in, at super middleweight. I mean, he's like, only fought the champions. Like, come on, what are we talking about here? Like, right. it's just do. Like, stop, you know, just come on, stop it. He, he's only fought the champions. That's all he's been doing. And um, he ain't ducking no smoke. First of all, when he fought Triple G... Triple G was probably the top dog in boxing. Nobody wanted to fight Triple G. Yeah, so come Nobody on. Nobody wanted to fight Triple G, and he fought him. Let's, let, 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 like, let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? Let's not disrespect Canelo Alvarez and the work that he and his team ha has put in. He's not ducking smoke from anybody, um, you know, and he just proved it once again last night. Um, you know what I mean? So you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta love and respect that, respect what he's doing. Um, big shout out again to Canelo Alvarez. Looking forward to see what's coming up next uh, for him. Um, but uh, we we got a lot we got a lot more to, to to talk about. Well, not a lot more. We got a little bit more to uh, talk about. There was a UFC fight. Usman. Um, he got the decision um, in, in in UFC. And right after that, while we're talking about uh, Canelo, I don't know why he would do this. I don't know why MMA fighters you know, in general do this, but he called out Canelo Alvarez and said he would like to fight Canelo Alvarez in a boxing match. Um, it still, you know, throws me um, and boggles my mind when I see these UFC fighters calling out boxers to fight them in boxing. If you're going to call them all time, come to, NBA, to MMA, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then I'm like, all right, but you, you, you guys got to stop this. Okay. You're not going over to boxing and beating the especially not the top guys you may be able to get you know get a win versus you know somebody who's just starting now early in their career but you're not gonna gonna just make the transition over to boxing and beat canelo alvarez you're not gonna go over to boxing and beat you know floyd mayweather you're not gonna beat the danny garcia's you're not gonna beat those guys you're not gonna beat javante davis i'm sorry that is not going to happen um, and I say this all the time when I hear these guys make these ridiculous call outs. If you 
were actually that good of a boxer, you would be boxing because as much as people want to say the sport of boxing is dead, those paychecks are still bigger than the paychecks that you are getting in MMA and the UFC or whatever, whatever, you know, where, wherever you're fighting at in MMA, you're not going to get a bigger check. Now, granted, you know, a guy like uh, McGregor might get a bigger check than a lower tier fighter. But if you're comparing the top tier of MMA to the top tier of boxing, if if somebody came to Floyd Mayweather and said, Joe, I'm about to pay you what we pay Conor McGregor for a fight here, laugh in your face and walk off. So let's be clear. If these guys could box at that level, they'd be boxing and they'd be getting those checks. Uh, yeah, it, it, guys got to got to cut it out. And uh, in terms of the pay, there's a reason why the moment that Conor McGregor got that boxing money, he was no longer interested in fighting MMA. Yeah. Let's call it what it is. He was in no rush to get back in the octagon because he was like, man, I, I just made 25, 30 mil. He made more like, than, than his last five MMA fights. Right, <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So um, it, it ain't the same. Usman is a tremendous fighter. He might be the most dominant UFC fighter since uh, John Jones, because John Jones really dominated the light heavyweight division there, and, yes. and Anderson Silver as well. Um, but he ain't on that level. And and like uh, Dana White even said after the fight, Dana White was like, he don't, he don't want to see Canelo. He, he, Dana White Dana White was watching the Canelo fight yeah. while he was sitting ringside at the UFC. Like he said, he don't want the Canelo fight. He said, now if Canelo want to come over here and they want to fight, sure. But in a boxing ring, you don't want no part to that. So just cut it out. Uh, the UFC guys got to stop it. Show respect. Uh, the same way, box, you never hear boxing guys say, I want to go over to UFC and fight them guys because the boxing guys have respect for that art form. And they understand that it's not as easy as just me getting in the ring and fighting. There's a different art form that goes into that. There's, that's mixed martial arts. You know what I'm saying? That's hands, that's feet, that's leg locks, that's moves, choke holds. So don't disrespect the sport of boxing and think that just because guys are throwing hands that you can get in there and do it because... The, the three times that we've seen a UFC guy get into the ring with a, with a boxer, yeah. they've all lost. I mean, Woodley and, and uh, what was his boy that couldn't beat Jake Paul? Exactly. And they were UFC and, fighters. And those were exhibition fighters. That's not like they went in, in right. pro boxers. Right. You, you, you were fighting a guy who didn't even have enough experience to be labeled as a world-class boxer. And yes. you couldn't beat him. So what makes you think that the training you're doing over there is going to translate for you to hang with the best pound for pound box in the world? Exactly. Now, if you were smart, you try to trick them out of their spot and get them to come to MMA and try to fight you dead. You'd be saying something. You got to hit them with the man. We keep going over there. Why don't y'all come over here now? You got to hit them with one of those. Um, you know what I'm saying? But even, even, you know, big shout out to Clarissa uh, Shields who, who, is arguably the, the, the greatest woman boxer of all time. You know, it's probably maybe neck and neck between her and, and Layla Ali, but she didn't go over to, to MMA and say, let me get Amanda Nunes. Okay, she started at the bottom. Right, right. You <laughs> can't just go in there calling yeah. out the big dogs. Yeah. Right. She said, I want to go over and have a fight, but she didn't say, she didn't start at the number one spot. You can't come in and just say, oh, let me get Canelo and think you're going to get a dub. No, what you're doing is, and I, I listen, I respect it. Yeah, you know to get what they do. Right. They don't really want Canelo. They want yeah. the Canelo payday. Yeah, because you can't call out Joe Schmo, who's three and oh right now, and think you're gonna get paid. It's not, it wouldn't even be worth it. So you gotta, if you're gonna make a call out, you gotta call out the top dog. Connor wasn't stupid. I'm gonna call out Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm calling out the top dog because that's how I'm gonna get the biggest payday of my life. And then I'm going to retire. You know, I don't give, I don't care about fighting anymore. And that's what we saw, you know, like you said, with Conor McGregor, Usman's trying to do the same thing. It ain't going to happen. Um, I'm sorry if it did. Obviously, we know it's just a check. And then you, the, the difference between Mayweather and McGregor, we'll still watch Mayweather and McGregor because even though, you know, anybody that had, you know, any type of knowledge in their brain, knew Floyd Mayweather was going to dominate that fight. It wouldn't even been close, but those are probably Floyd Mayweather is probably one of the greatest talkers of all time, the greatest sellers of a fight of all time in the sport of boxing. Um, and you know, Conor McGregor is, is, is the same thing in MMA. So the fight is going, is going to sell. It's going to make sense. You're going to want to see because they both talk so crazy. 
Usman ain't known for his trash talk like that. And Canelo don't even speak English like that. So, you know what I mean? So you don't even win from that aspect, <coughs> excuse me, of the fight. So I, I wouldn't even want to see that thing. It just, just has no interest for me. But if you can go out and get a bag, you know, go ahead, man. Do you. I ain't stopping nobody from going out and getting a bag. Big shout out to Usman, no, for, for, for winning and uh, retaining his title. This your African king is coming, Michael Blackson. You watch a real fans do a talk. Get real with it, my son.